Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. We are at Halloween Hornets tonight for the first time this season. I have been so bad. I'm not come, but I officially got FOMO. So we are here tonight. I think we're gonna start off with the insidious house to get the worst house out of the way. So please pray for me because everyone says it's so scary. We got here for early entry. So we're gonna be able to get a couple houses done, hopefully before the event officially opens. And I wanted to take you guys with me. So. Let's go. So we're going into the New York Stay and Scream area. This has Insidious and A Quiet Place here. We're trying to get Insidious out of the way first, even though I'm terrified of it. Um, but because that's probably going to be the one with the longest line. So we're just trying to get that one out of the way. That way we can spend the rest of the night kind of walking around and seeing what else there is to do. One thing I will say is if you're doing the Stay and Scream, you want to try to get here a little bit early. It opens at 3 o'clock and you have to be in the park and in your Stay and Scream area by 5 o'clock. We got here a little bit later than we wanted to. It's like 4.15 right now and the line is already lining for all of these big houses. So if we had gotten here earlier and just waited at the front of the line, we probably would have been in and out of Insidious within the first 10 minutes of the house opening. But now it's probably going to be, I don't know, it's looking like a at least a 30, 40 minute wait for it. So we'll see. There are three houses. I'm pretty sure like bumped into this line, so I don't really know how many people are going into which one but we'll see. And of course, stop number one before we can get in line is to get some drinks. All right, I ended up getting the gold juice. One thing though that he told us is that the Blinky Cups from this year have actually been recalled, which he said is never anything good because they haven't told them why it's been recalled. So they had to change the souvenir cups um, to just some pretty basic ones, but let's give it a taste. Oh, that's really good. That does not taste like alcohol. <laughs> yeah, which one's this one? Uh, Grand Meridian? Dead Meridian. Dead Meridian? I like mine better. See? I don't like the fizziness of that one. So just to give you guys an update, it's about 4.45 and the line is already moving to get into the official NCDS line. So that is what you have to look forward to when you get here. I am so scared right now. We are officially in the line for Insidious and I can feel my heart racing. <laughs> Okay, honestly, Insidious was not that bad, but I will say it's because we didn't get all the scares. I feel like the people behind us and in front of us were getting all the scares so I could see it coming. But I could, there were still some parts where I screamed. I tried to record my audio in there because you can't record inside the houses, but my camera literally stopped recording as soon as I was in there. So yeah, I will say the one thing is that I don't watch any of the scary movies because they scare me way too much. So I didn't really know what was happening. And like Nathan at one point was like, oh, this is my favorite part because he knew like who the villain was or whatever it is, but I didn't know any of that, so it wasn't as bad. So if you're a scaredy cat like me, maybe don't watch the movies before coming because it's not gonna be as bad as you think it will be. I think now we're gonna go and maybe either get food or do another house. I don't know what time it is. Okay, it's 5.52, so I think the event is officially opening in like eight minutes. So maybe we'll hop into another line while it's still shortish before everyone gets in here and makes the lines go up. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do Ghostbusters because it says it's only a 35 minute wait right now. We're about to go into Ghostbusters and I just wanna record this now, but I don't think this one will be scary, but we'll see if I still agree with that after the fact. All right, confirmed Ghostbusters was not scary at all, but it did have some really cool visuals in there. So definitely a house that I think you should do just for the sake of it being really cool and like really well done, but not scary at all. The event has officially opened, so I think the plan now is go find some food and then we're gonna do more houses, go through some scare zones, do all the things basically. Walking through the scare zones during the day is so funny because it's not scary one bit, it just looks like people in costumes, but we're gonna go through here to try to get to our next little area. this event basically just opened but pro tip come on a Sunday on a day that is raining and possibly having a hurricane three days later because it is empty I mean even insidious which we did come early to wait in line for said with 20 minute wait right now when we walked out and as we're going through a bunch of other houses they all say like 15 10 minute waits so we'll see how it goes throughout the night but so far this is a really good day to be here going into the blumhouse scare zone honestly the scare zone is kind of disappointing compared to what they had last year Slight change of plans. We're all the way back by Men in Black and both houses back here are five minutes and 10 minutes. So we're gonna pop into them real quick. Okay, predictions for this house. I think it will change. <laughs> I think it will be scarier than Ghostbusters, but I still don't think it'll be scary. Okay, definitely not scary. It was really loud in there though. And in the first scene, there's a guy who like, looks like he's throwing up and he like squirts water out. 
and it landed right in my mouth. <laughs> like, so I was like, this is gross, cool, cool. But not scary at all, just some really cool visuals. There's no, there's like nothing scary in there. I think there were some more um, jump scares in there than the last house, Ghostbusters, but still nothing to be afraid of. Also, that one said it was a 10 minute wait and it was literally a walk-in, so if it says 10 minutes, get in line for it all right looks like there's two houses back here there's goblin's feast and eternal bloodlines but both of them are at five minute wait so i think we're gonna do it it did also start raining a bit we did bring umbrellas and rain jackets it's not bad enough where i feel the need to pull it out but okay. if you're gonna come on a day that says rain definitely bring a umbrella or a rain jacket or a poncho or something because you're gonna get wet this really shows how empty the park is today because usually this is packed okay so we just walked out of those last two houses overall Still not scary. I think I like the visuals in Goblins a little bit more than yeah, no, the yeah. monsters, Eternal Bloodlines. But I don't know if it's just that we keep getting, like the people in front of us keep getting the scares and we're just like missing all of them, but... It's more comical seeing the people in front of us bobbing and weaving. Yeah, scary. it's really funny seeing everyone getting scared in front of us, but so far we've been, we've been chilling in there. And I like, I'm someone who gets scared really easily. <laughs> Why did that move? Why did that move? You're good, you're good. Yeah, good job, good job, good job. So the fact that I'm saying that, like, you know it'll be fine. So I mind the fact that I'm sitting on the floor, but there's no tables available under the cover and it's raining, but we ended up getting some of the classic pizza fries. I've heard a lot of people say these are really good, so I have high expectations for them. They're actually not bad. Okay, that honestly tasted like a Totino's pizza roll, so if you like those, 10 out of 10. If you don't, probably skip but I personally love them so I'm not mad at that. Just got in line for the Museum of Deadly Exhibits and something about the name of it makes me think it'll be scary but we've had good luck so far so who knows. This one also said it was a 15 minute wait and it does look like a 15 minute wait so okay that one was actually a really fun house still not scary but we did get more jump scares in that one than we've gotten in some other ones um <laughs> I honestly really liked it I don't know I could see how some people wouldn't like it but I thought it was really good. It's also, just wanted to do a time check for you guys. We've done six houses tonight already, and it is only 7.56 right now. So, Sundays, rainy days, this is the time to come. About to go through one more scare zone. So far, nothing has scared me tonight, but let's see if something pops out at us here. So there were literally no scare actors in that area at all. I don't know if it's because it's drizzling, but it's barely raining, so I don't know. But not a single scare actor in there right now. Of course, had to stop and take some pictures in front of the Mel's die inside. Do you have one more scare zone to go through? Hopefully, there will actually be scare actors in this one, but we'll see. Lots of fog in this one. So confirmed, no scare actors here either. Okay, so scare zones are a bit of a bust right now, but we're gonna do monstrous monsters of Latin America. It only has a 25 minute wait, so let's go. Okay, this might be getting a little bit repetitive, but prediction for this house is that it's not gonna be scary. Hopefully though, it has some really good visuals in there because I've actually really been enjoying like seeing the houses. Usually in years past, I am too scared and close my eyes, but I'm actually experiencing the houses this year, so. We'll see what this one's got for us. Okay, Monsters of Latin America was actually a really good house. It was like you were walking through a tiny village and all the Latin American monsters were just popping out at you. So they had some really good scares in there. Still not scary, but some good jump scares. There were some guys on stilts in there and there was two or three times that they like full on put their hand right up to my face. And I just kept thinking like, if I didn't move back right now, like. Would you be touching me right now? Um, but it was really good. They also had a jump scare at the end, like after you literally leave the house that got me. So watch out for that one. The rain has kind of slowed down. It looks like we've got some scare actors back out here. So that's awesome. All right, we're gonna grab one more drink. This bar looks completely empty. It's like kind of tucked away past the Blumhouse scare zone. So getting another drink. All right, I'm gonna get the black cat reprieve. We just met up with Tamia, and she said that this literally tasted like a Jolly Rancher, so we're gonna do that. Okay, I don't think I gave my review for the drink while we were at the bar, but this literally tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's so good. Gonna do the Nightmare Fuel show next. We are gonna hear about 30 minutes before doors open, so hopefully we'll be fine. It looks like we are. The line doesn't seem to be capped just yet, um, but the show is always so good every year, so super excited for it. Okay, that show is absolutely amazing. It is so good every single year. 
I highly recommend you watch it. I will say content warnings. One, there's a lot of fire, lots of flashing lights. Very sexy show, if you may. Um, but if you're afraid of clowns, there's no actual clowns in the show, but this year's is circus themed. So there's clown and makeup and outfit adjacent. So if you're like absolutely terrified of clowns, maybe stay away from it this year. Otherwise, such a good show. We're going in a Diagon Alley now to see if we can catch a glimpse of the Death Eaters. Um, I don't know if they'll be out right now because it is raining again and the scare actors earlier like went away when the rain was out, but hopefully they'll come out and we'll get to see them. Stepped in because Nathan wanted ice cream. I don't know if you guys can see him walking, but the Death Eaters are out and about today. Those Death Eaters were moving and grooving in there, I swear. They kept going up to people, like, just at random, honestly. There was mostly people that were just standing in the crowd. A lot of people were crowding them, though. So, guys, like, you see them interacting with someone, step back. They'll eventually come up to you, most likely. You don't have to go and, like, rush at them. But the way that they were just, like, walking through that crowd so quickly, like, if you wanted a glimpse at them, you either have to stay in one spot and wait for them to come back around, or, like, you were chasing after them. So, it's really fun. I feel like in years prior, they haven't been out as much as they seem to be out tonight, so that was really fun. This is about to be the longest line that we wait for. It's 40 minutes. I mean, besides when we first got here, but I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> but it should be a fun house. We just went through a quiet place, and first of all, it was not scary, but it was probably one of the scarier houses that we've done tonight. The wait time said 40 minutes. We did not wait that long. It was probably 20 minutes, so we ended up having to chug our drinks, and I didn't even finish it. And also, can we just know, it's literally called a quiet place, and that house was so loud. Like, did someone forget the memo, or what are we doing here? I don't know. But I think we're gonna do Major Sweets Candy Factory, I think that's the name of it, next. And then after that, we only have Triplets of Terror, so it's only 11 o'clock right now, and this doesn't close until 2 a.m., so we definitely have more than enough time to do all the houses. Nathan just went to get another ring. A drink. Wow, can't talk. Before we go to Major Suites, I think we're also gonna stop into the tribute store for a little bit to check out what's in there. But one thing I will say about the rain, even though it's giving us really low wait times for all the houses, which is awesome, it also means that all of the scare actors are not out and about in the scare zone. So I think that's one thing that we're gonna miss out tonight. And as of right now, I only have tickets for tonight to come to Halloween Horror Nights because while I love this, I definitely don't need to come here every single day. So I didn't buy the season pass. So it's kind of a bummer that we are missing out on seeing all the scare zones, but we're still gonna make the best of it. Still having a lot of fun times. I like that we get to do all the houses because in previous years, even when I've come two days in a row, two days in the season, I haven't been able to get all the houses done. So it's awesome actually being able to do all of that. We already ate half of it, but Nathan also went and came back with one of the little tater, I don't even know what to call this, but it's Parmesan and garlic. It's not too bad, but I also don't get the hype. Okay, we're gonna go into the tribute store first. Um, before doing another house mainly because Nathan has a drink that he has to get through and all the houses right now are like 10 to 15 minute wait time so we don't need him to be chugging that drink again. Kind of like in this Ghostbuster shirt like as a crop. That's cute. They've also got a ton of Mel's dye-in shirt. They have hats, they have, wow I just said hats. They have shirts, hats, some mugs. They also have this really cool apron that Honestly, I've never seen anything like that before, so I love that. And then they also got pins, just a ton of merch, so love that. I could totally be making this up, but it also feels like this Chucky merch is from last year because they don't have any Chucky houses this year, but tons of Chucky merch left. Ooh, the Ghostbusters merch. They really went in on this one. Are you kidding me? The lounge fly? That is so cute. Also mugs, mystery pins. I think these are pins at least. Bunch of cups. Those all this lounge fly. I think it's lounge fly. I can make making this up, but the purse is really cool. And their bucket hat. Thirty percent off already. Okay, now it's getting cool in here. If you want a cool photo op, this is the one. They've got a couple jackets, and I was just saying that like t-shirts and stuff, I don't really wear around. But jackets, I work from home, so I am always wearing jackets and like while I work instead of getting dressed up because I'm lazy. And I feel like this one's so cute. I honestly though, to me, is gonna hate me, but I don't really like this punk rocker guy this year. I I don't know. This is a cool design, but yeah, it would kind of be cool if it was on a black shirt. I do really like these. I don't even know what they are. They're kind of like clutches. 
but these are really cute. Okay, this one might be a little bit basic, but I actually really like it. I can see myself again wearing this while I work from home and get comfy. Let's see how much it is. It is $40, but you do also get your annual pass discount in here. This insidious shirt though, terrifying. We haven't been to this house yet, but I'm gonna assume this is major sweets, and I honestly don't hate this shirt. It's giving tarot cards, but candy. We just came out of the tribute store and Triplets of Terror was right by the exit and it has a five minute wait. So we're gonna take advantage of that and get into it right now. Um, because in that way we only have one house left and we're pretty much gonna finish everything <laughs> before midnight probably. So, the rain has really been good to us. Besides the scare actors being away in the scare zones, the rain has done a good thing. I do not expect this house to be scary at all. I have yet to be scared tonight. Even with Insidious, even with A Quiet Place, which are meant to be the scariest houses of the night. So I think this one's just gonna be another really cool visual house. So it should be a good one though. I'm not gonna lie, Triplets of Terror was a little bit lame. Maybe I just didn't understand the house, but I think the concept is that there's these triplets who just we do these murders every 10 years and I don't know, I just didn't get it. I thought it was okay. Probably a skip if I had to skip one of the houses. Um, but we're finally going over to Major Suites now. Finally, it is before midnight, so we are getting all the houses done before midnight. So if you come on a Sunday, it's a rainy day, you get here for the stay and scream, you should be able to get all 10 houses done by midnight plus the show. So it's been a really good night so far, honestly. The only time I will ever come into this ride is for Halloween Horror Nights line. Okay, just went through Major Suites and I would say that was a cool house. They had some cool visuals in there. I think, yeah, it was cute. It was fun. It was pretty loud and if you're scared of chainsaws, they do have some chainsaws at the end there. So bit of a spoiler alert there but what I will say about this year's houses is that they don't have a lot of like movie based houses the only ones that they have are Insidious and A Quiet Place which those were technically like the scariest ones I feel like I still wasn't very scared at either of them but a lot of the houses are just like Universal's own made up houses and when we have those I feel like they're not scary they're just very visual and cool to look at so if you're been terrified of Halloween Horror Nights, I think this is a really good year to come. I mean, you'll still get the jump scares and that's always going to happen, but it's still not as scary as years prior. So you still have until the end of the month to come and check it out. If you haven't, if you've been too scared too, it's really not that bad, I promise you. Guys, our night at Halloween Horror Nights has officially come to an end. It is 1 a.m. in the morning. We did finish it off with doing a ride on The Mummy, which is really fun, and we got to see some of the scare actors as we were walking out. I guess Universal decided it's 1 a.m. Just let them out there for a little bit until the end of the night. But the event ends at 2 a.m., so technically there's still a whole hour left, and every single house, including Insidious, is at max 15-minute wait. So. If you're willing to stay all the way until the end of the night, this is a really great time to get those last houses in if the lines at the beginning of the event for you were super, super long. But like I said earlier, it was not scary at all this year. And that's coming from someone who is literally a wimp and jumps at any tiny bit of a scare. I was not scared in a single house. I know Insidious people said it was a little bit scarier than what I thought it was. I think we just got unlucky and didn't get a lot of the jump scares. So maybe, warning on that one but overall really really great year to come if you're a scaredy cat really great year to come just in general if you want some halloween vibes while you're here in orlando but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thanks for sticking it out until the end if you did please like comment share subscribe do all the things and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys